Hey everyone and welcome back and today we're looking at Disney Adorbs Dorbles from Just Play. Uh, I'm gonna be totally honest I've never opened any kind of Dorbles anything before so I literally just got this because I really want Sally and I want Jack. Um, I think they're all of them are really cute. I hope I don't fall into a black hole of Disney Dorbles Adorbs but I know that I want uh, Jack and Sally and I think I found Sally. So, um, I already unwrapped it or whatever. This is like the artwork. I think that's all of them. Uh, there might be more, but we'll see. So they're surprise super fans. There's 10 surprises with like exclusible, exclusive doorbells, exclusibles. Um, so that's cute. I mean, they're really, really adorable, but they don't really do it for me. Like the, the doorbells. Here is a look at the front. Like, they're always together. And then there's the back. There's that Sally right there. That's cute. And then here's the back. Is that Minnie, I think? Um, She's really cute. I really like Alice, too. Ooh. So Sally's right there. Lightning McQueen. I like the Bonzo one, too. Bonzo? Bon Bonzo? What's his name? The evil guy from Toy Story 3. Oh, but Donald's really cute too. Crap. I think that's Cruella. No. So let's get started. You open an order. One. Wait. Open an order. Okay. So let's do one. And let's see what this is. Okay. I did bring scissors. So I do like that there is not really that blind of an aspect to this. Because I hate that stuff. So yeah. Ooh, yay. Deadly Nightshade. And then there's this VIP, like, tag. Is that it that's in here? Uh, I think there's something else. Um, okay. I don't know why, but okay. Here is... The cute packaging. And okay, so one, two, e I hate this sort of stuff. <laughs> I'm not gonna even uh, lie. I hate blind box things. So here is another one of these in box two. Okay. Looks like it's a pair of shoes. Oh, cute. These Sally boots are adorable. Okay, and now three. Let's cut into here. I feel like this is the adorable figure itself. Hello? I cut the line! Yeah, I think it's Sally. Okay, so here she is. I'm not gonna lie, she is not as cute as some of the ones that I've seen people unbox and stuff. Okay, so you put her on this. I'd be scared to put her on a lanyard and put her on my back. I think I would like, like super glue her there. There's a heart clip right there, do the nightshade. She's adorable. <laughs> adorable. And then four is right here. Do you guys like this sort of thing? It's like when, with like the OMGs, when they came partially undressed, I hated that. I'm like, no, just dress my doll for me. Oh, it's her bag. This is so cute. It's basically another adorable. It's zero. He looks kind of scary because he doesn't have pupils. But he's so cute. And he does, like... I think this one's secured in, but this one pops off so that you can put it on the actual doll. He's got a flat head. And then five is here at the top. Let's see... Uh, let me move all this stuff over here. Not sure what this is for. 
Is there like a code on this? Scan. Okay, then you open this. Yep, it's Sally's little backdrop. Let's see. It's got like a photos right there. It's like a little meet and greet. You can buy like her bag. There she is right there inside of the globe. I love Sally's aesthetic. So let's get her open. Let me push. Oh, she's so cute. There she is. Hold on. Let me look at her art. Um, I feel like uh, I was expecting this like richer skin tone. She looks really pale here. Hmm. 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 Okay. Right off the bat, I'm kind of disappointed that she's not as pictured. But oh yeah, these were $14.99 at Walmart. And I think that's a pretty fair price for like a little a little mini doll. Because I think she's about six inches. Uh, I think they made the hair adorables too. It's like a very similar way of opening them. Ah, oh, please. Hold on, let me fix her up a little bit. She's pretty cute. I'm actually really disappointed that her skin tone is wildly different from her box art. That's kind of... Yeah. She comes with a stand. It is a saddle stand, so it is the devil. Let's put her shoes on. Her feet are hilarious. Here's her outfit. I wish there was more of that yellow element that Sally has in her outfit. This is her face. This The brows feel like... The brows look like they are like sculpted on, but it's just a really thick layer of paint, I think. It's her face. She's got some red streaks, the flower, and a red bow. It's pulled to the side. I'm gonna try to fix that hair. But yeah, she's got the five points. She's got painted on gloves. She can only twist her head, which is kind of disappointing. I think everybody would agree that that is the worst articulation for her head. Oh, she's got a knee joint, but it's very, very stiff. I'm kind of terrified of that. Let's try to put this shoe on. Okay. Um, um, I'll be right back. Wait, I just discovered that there is an extra point of articulation here at the ankle, but I don't get why, because this can twist too. Hmm. Okay. Okay, we're back. So that was without a doubt the most troubling and frustrating doll putting together experience of my life. Uh, her feet kept spinning in, like, they kept not trying to go inside of here. I honestly should have recorded it, but it was so frustrating. And then when I was trying to put this one on, her leg popped off, like the uh, Disney Illy dolls. But it just popped back in. But it was frustrating because I was like, oh, and I broke her. But she is finally done. I just realized she's looking to that way. That's cute. She is very adorable, but I am going to reiterate, I'm kind of troubled that her artwork is so, so, like, incorrect in terms of skin tone. And I think she looks really washed out here. I mean, she's a little bit paler than I am. But yeah, I think she's adorable. I don't know if I caught the bug, but I will definitely be looking for Jack just so I can put them together like little little girlfriends and that'll be super cute. Um, I'm not sure. They're a sweet doll, $14.99. I think it's a fun little experiment experience for younger kids. I think maybe possibly part of it was like my fingers are too big to like deal with like the smaller mechanisms of her but I don't know how a kid would even like that like that jointed foot is super super annoying uh it doesn't need it the leg bends and it pivots so 
yeah, that that seems like a very unnecessary uh, joint for uh, to post, like to post to to have. But I don't know. Let me know if you like that. I hate it, but hmm. it's like when Jet from Rainbow High got the articulated ankle. Don't uh, I don't get it. I don't like it. Girl dolls with a heeled foot getting an articulated ankle just doesn't look nice to me. And it also is super frustrating when you try posing them and like the ankle keeps popping. So yeah, she's super cute. A solid like 8 out of 10 mini doll. Um, let me know what you guys think. Do you like all of them? I just, I think I'm going to stick to to Jack and Sally. But let me know your thoughts and opinions and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Okay, so as luck would have it, I managed to find the Jack the next day. And I don't have to do two separate videos on these dolls. And just one should do it, you know? So it's the same packaging, Disney Dorables, but I just kept the plastic wrap on this one. Uh, same business. Oh, same business. Same process. And same box. So let's get into it by going to number one. Thankfully, she's pale, so we're not be that disappointed when she's paler than she's supposed to be. I'm actually quite upset about the discrepancy in skin tone with the Sally one. It's not right. Let's see what's in the first bag. Oh, oh. Okay, so it's the Jack Charm. Got him on the Coiled Hill. Their VIP pass. And is that it that's in this one? I do find this plastic packaging very wasteful. And then this thing that I have no idea what it is. So let's go. On to two. So I think these are very cute, but I don't know if they're cute enough to buy more than just Jack and Sally. I'm tempted by the Donald one, but... Oh yeah, this is the Jack heart back there with the little skull. I'm assuming, so I don't know who else it would be. And then in number two, we have Jack's boots. These are super adorable. Another pair of boots. Like, they're kind of a sturdier plastic, so that foot is going to be a nightmare to get in. Let's see. Number three. Keep losing my scissors, and they're always on my lap. Okay. Okay, it's the Jack Charm. His is really cute. Kind of like Zero, no pupils. Well, it's had the skull, so I guess that makes sense. And then here he is on his little charm. Love it. People who collect these, how do you not lose your mind with the blind aspect? Is there actually a a code that they have? Because I've been watching some videos, people open the doorbells, and there are codes, but there's also like two different characters in it. But then I'll watch a video, and one of the characters in, is in a box with another character. So I'm just like... Is it just kind of like random? Here's her purse. Wow, super cute. I love it. I wonder why he didn't get zero. It's his pet, technically. You know? Nothing on this side. Oh, the doll's here. And then you start at five. Oh. Just kidding. Just rip that off. And then let's look at the checklist. Creepy ghouls. See, like, I think I would want Alice. Who is that supposed to be? Hmm. Here is his little meet and greet area. Hers, I guess. With the plushie, the boots, the bag. Super cute. Oh, there's a big illustration right there. And now let's get that open. Okay, they're super adorable. The feet, the more I look at them, are crazy looking to me. Um, there's like a little adorable shot back there. They are like duck feet. 
just try to get her out of here. Okay. Oh, they do have a stand as well. Ugh, she's not wearing a skirt, so it's gonna look really weird. Let me set this in. So this is their stand. It says adorbs right there. Okay. This is their hat. It's like a bucket hat. And here's her face. She's got a lot of makeup on, which I love. But also, is that hair trapped inside of her eye? <gasps> no. Or is my eye cracked? Oh, no. Should I message customer service about this? Her face is super darling, though. So she's like looking this way, and the Sally's looking that way. So together, they're like looking at each other. Lesbians! Uh, this is such a cute outfit. Super simple, though, and kind of crude. Let me try to fix it a little. I think it's supposed to be like a crop top, and they're wearing like an undershirt right there. And. Of course, at this size, nothing is hemmed. The funny feet. Let me show you what I was talking about with the boots. Like, because there is that added, like, articulation right there. The foot just keeps trying to spin. Oh, of course, it's not happening here. But with Sally's, it was. Sally's feet were also super spinny. Ugh. Oh, see? Yeah. These are a little bit softer than Sally's shoes, though. Let me move my camera down. I feel like their feet are big enough that they should be able to stand on their own. The tinsel is terrible, but I am a tinsel hater through and through. And they do have quite short hair. Let's put the hat on. I think there's a crack in her eyes. I don't understand. Cute. Maybe like $9.99 for them. Like, I would think would be a fair price because they're not entirely a blind box since you can look to see who you're getting. I mean, if you order online, I'm assuming like you're getting who you like get. But the more I think about it, the $15 price is probably because it's like a Disney license. But she is cute. Ooh. But that crack in the eye. Is that something that, I don't know. Does that happen often with adorables? Here's all of her stuff. I think I like her more than Sally. Minus the crack in the eye. But yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions on them. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.